All right, Elton, uh, before takeoff, check this below the line, please. Before takeoff, below the line. NCP. Set. The responder. T A R A. Strobe lights are on. Penny lights on. Before takeoff, check. Thank you. Timing. Stabilized. Set takeoff thrust. Takeoff thrust set, indication normal. 80 knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Get up. Lost your brakes. Hello. Hello. Come on, eh? Okay. Back up. Back up. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one. Flaps up. Speed check. Flaps. Flaps up no lights. Set standard. Set. Standard set, passing flight level 46, climbing flight level 90. VNAV, after takeoff checks, and you can release the cabin crew. Release after takeoff check. Air compress, climbing 2.4. Set, altimeters. Standard set, three times passing flight level 62, climbing flight level 90. What birds? Okay, that didn't sound very good. Birds on the right. Okay, so state malfunction, please, Elton. So, loss of N1, I AGT, N1 to the breeze. Uh, I would say both engine failure. Both engine failures confirmed? With severe, severe damage. Se yes. With severe damage, okay. In that case, there's no point in trying to, um, to restart the engines. Agree. So, if you can start the APU, please. Starting APU and I will declare Mayday. Yes, please. Starting in uh, Mayday, 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 Mentor 360, both engines failing. Request proceed back to runway 28 if available. Mentor 360, your Mayday is recorded at a time 1924. Copy turning right and we request full emergency equipment upon arrival. Mentor 360, that's all understood. Okay, I will tell the cabin crew Check. as well because you don't have anything since you don't have any electrical power. For Cab the Cabin crew, uh, prepare for no time available emergency. No time available emergency. Uh, landing very shortly. Okay, that's it. So, as soon as we have electrical power, put it back on for me, please. I will. And we'll see if we can get back to, uh, to runway 28. I'm overbanking a little bit here now to get good visibility back. Check. And we're quite high for a quick return anyway. APU on the bus. I got the electrical power. Thank you. If you can please give me bank angle. Bank angle. The uh, runway 28 ILS, please. Well, we're very high for runway 28, but it's the best chance we have. Bank you, angle. You agree? Bank angle. Runway is inside. Take the gear down, please. Let's check. Flaps one. Check. I will give you that egg to the runway. Yes, please. We have it, and I will also give you the speaks. Bank angle. Bank angle. Flaps five. Speed check. Bank angle. Bank angle. Flap inhibit switch to flap inhibit switch. Then inhibit. we can put the terrain inhibitors as well. Terrain inhibit as well. Speed under control. 
2,000 feet. Check. The leader enter two three six zero final. Flap 10. Enter 360, you're clear to land runway 28. The surface wind is 100 degrees at 5 knots. We have all emergency equipment standing by for you. Flaps 10. Just keep giving me flaps as the speed is decreasing now. Check. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Yeah. Flaps 40, please. Flaps 30, flaps 40, there we go. Race, race, race. Speed brakes up. Max manual braking. What are knots? 80 knots. 60 knots. Dublin uh, Mentor 360 stop uh, in the third part of the run. Okay, I'm not going to set the parking brakes because the brakes are going to be really, really hot here. I'll, I'll keep it like this for now. Check. Okay, and holding it still. Cabin crew, stand by. Cabin crew, stand by. Okay, Elton, we are on the runway. We have survived. Yes. It's a good thing. It's, okay. It was good. Yeah. The um, we had fairly high speed on landing. Um, not too bad though. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not so the the brakes could potentially be hot. But what we'll do is we'll talk to the uh, the fire crew when they appear on the uh, the fire freaks who want one that's more six. And I'm also going to talk to the cabin to see how the uh, how the situation is in the back. Okay. Okay. Good. So I'll t uh, let's see. I'll talk to um, the fire crew and want one six first. So your Radio number one. My radio one. Uh, Dublin uh, Fire from Mentor 360. Uh, we have stopped just short of uh, Echo 6 and uh, would like you to give a full look over the, um, the aircraft. Uh, we had two engines fail and with severe damage, so would like you to tell me if there's any leaks of any sort and also if uh, how the brakes are looking, if they're hot or not, and anything else that you can see around the the, um, the aircraft, anything that would lead up to a need for an evacuation. Okay, let's see if the fire crew is coming here soon. Up oh, here they are. Excellent, very good. Okay, so temperature should be okay. Uh, I'll put the sparking brake on there. So. Right guys, so this, this is what might happen, okay? Now we were very lucky, we were at a high altitude when, uh, when the, um, the bird strikes hit, uh, which meant that we had plenty of room to get back in towards Dublin, and we landed on the opposite runway, which meant that we had a little bit of tailwind. But this is what you do. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, there are no set rules for how to deal with something like this. We just have to use your knowledge, be quick in reactions, like getting the APU running, for example, is crucial in order to get electrical power back. And with electrical power, you also get all of the screens, all of the communication. And also, crucially, the hydraulic pumps will start working as well. So it'll be easier to control the aircraft. And then focus on getting the aircraft in to land inside of the aircraft, oh sorry, the airport boundary. And the reason for that, the reason why we, we stay a little bit high, with a little bit higher um, energy, is that it's much better to land with a higher speed on a long runway and then stop maybe towards the end of the runway. As long as you stop inside of the airport perimeter, it means that these guys, the, um, the firefighter, will be able to, to reach us um, and help us as quickly as possible. If we misjudge it and we take off too much speed or we go too far away from the airport, well then we might end up landing outside of the runway and outside of the, uh, the airport. So not only will we not have immediate help by them then, but we might also um, hit buildings, motorways or cause third party damage and this is something that we definitely want to avoid. So in this instant everything went well. Um, you will always miss things, you will always make mistakes, but the main thing and the only really important thing here is to get the aircraft back onto a runway or onto a field 
or somewhere in one piece so that we can potentially evacuate our passengers.